This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN, headline news update. Good afternoon, everybody. Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in Clearwater, Florida. It's 1 p.m. Eastern time, three hours until that closing bell. Let's check in on the markets as all major indices are currently trading higher. Looking at Dow Jones up 14 points, trading at 22,845. NASDAQ up six points, trading at 65.93. And S&P's up 1.5 points, trading at 25.52. Two. Let's jump over to the Nadex platform, see what we have happening in some of the futures markets to start things off. <clears throat> gold contract pulling back a bit. We'll start it off. Gold was as high as over 1293 this morning, about 9 a.m., pulling back, currently trading 1288.29, looking at the December contract. Crude oil currently trading right around $51. So we have EIA inventories tomorrow, Thursday, pushed back one day from the usual time um, because of the Monday holiday. But crude, $51, kind of floating around between $51.40 and $50.60 today. NASDAQ 100, quite a day, approaching the intraday highs, currently trading 6,072, <clears throat> excuse me, and S&P 500, so there it is, trading 2550. So what else we have going on in the world of equities, in the world of news? We'll jump around, a couple headlines kind of jumping out there. So you had BlackRock easily beating Wall Street expectations as asset jumped to almost $6 trillion. BlackRock's assets under management grew by 17% on a year-over-year basis. Staggering numbers. And assets under management for the ETF business totaled $1.6 trillion, accounting 27% of its total assets. Jumping over, take a look at BlackRock. Pull it up. There it is. And BlackRock trading up $7 or 1.6% today for BlackRock. Not bad. Another stock getting some action today, Kroger. So Kroger is looking to sell 780 of its convenience stores. Um, Kroger battered, battered for months in intense grocery competition, as I'm sure we've all heard, as Amazon muscles their way into that in industry. And Kroger will jump over. Investors are cheering that type of a news. Um, because their, their convenience stores are quite an asset, and maybe they're going to reap the benefits of that. So Kroger up almost 4.3%, trading up $0.88, cents currently trading at $21.45. And one other big mover today, we had Delta Airlines coming out with earnings doing well. Delta up 1%. The airline business is rocking, that's for sure. Stay tuned, folks. Great day of programming at TFNN. We got Steve Rhodes, Dave White, and Tom O'Brien this afternoon, and I'll be back next hour for a top-of-the-hour update at TFNN.com.